Okay, today I worked out in the garage, and as you see, these are the some of the parts and pieces that went into my vacuum system that is going to be used with the exhaust air from my air engine to try to pump air into a separate tank that can be possibly used for uh, air later on. That there is the actual pump setup. Two cylinders with the little air cylinder on the setup. It pumps in both directions when it goes up or down. And that's the vacuum aspirator that is used to create the vacuum to make the cylinders operate, as you can see how they go. I don't have the valve set up yet, or made yet, and I don't even know how I'm going to make the valve operate to switch from one cylinder to the other to pump the air into the tank. But as I get into making it and testing and trying, or trying to design it, I'll I'll make some drawings and sketches and do a few postings on how that's going too. But for now, I just want to show you how the thing operates. I'll be using the aspirator manually to, to operate the pump. I just switched the hose, or put the hose on the top cylinder now so that when I turn the aspirator, let the air from the air compressor blow through it. I've got it set for 30 PSI right now. I'm just putting a spacer in the cylinder bottom right now where it's mounted to the bottom because the thing is made out of wood as you can see and it's a little wider than what <laughs> it needs to be. If everything works out and it does do what I hope it will do, I'll have to make all the parts out of metal. But until I make sure it works and get all the dimensions and get the thing set up, get the valve to work, figure out how to attach it to make it switch from one to the other. I'll be using the wood setup. It's a lot cheaper than metal and it's a lot much, much, much easier to, to work on. I can make a piece in 10 minutes with, out of wood, whereas if you tried to do it with metal, it would end up being maybe an hour, maybe two hours sometimes, or more. And then if you don't have the exact dimensions and you know that it's gonna work, you waste a lot of time and a lot of money if if it's not right. It's a piece of wood, not so expensive. That's just the back view of it. Side view. That gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like. I will say one thing, the pieces that I started out with don't necessarily look like the pieces I finished with. I ended up modifying that piece right there a couple of different times to get it to look like and work like it's supposed to.
well that's where I'm at right now you can see that it does work and it's much cheaper to build it like I said out of wood just to see how it goes I don't have the valve designed yet I'm working on that right now that will switch from one cylinder back to the other cylinder and as I come up with an idea I'll make some designs and do another video showing you how that should work and possibly I'll even have it made so that you can see how it works but for now I'm gonna continue thinking about it and I've got some other ideas that I'm gonna work on too so if you think I'm doing something worthwhile give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe you'll be notified whenever I come up with a, a new video and appreciate you other subscribers looking in and I'll keep you posted. So, till next time, goodbye.